there, but the upper ones are what are causing the pressure. So just get them all out at once, he said. No, it's fabulous. We'll find a doc, and he gave you a referral? Uh, we have the form, yes. Yeah. Oh, all right, we just need to call and make sure they cover insurance, and then if not, I'll find a doc that does, and we'll move forward as quick as we can on it. Yeah, I think it will help with everything from like allergy, sinus pressure. If it's like me, then any pressure in the head just seems to aggravate everything. Yeah. Hello, friends. Early morning news for Abby. Poor Abby keeps getting the brunt end of pain. Oh, that kid. My kids are laughing at me. I had to take out my retainer. <laughs> I need to brush my teeth. I need you guys ready to go. Get your jacket, Chelsea. Get your backpacks. We need to get in the car. Um, Hi. Abby has jaw pain and will need to have jaw surgery. And so she's dealt with that. She has back pain. There's nothing we can do about it aside from like pain medication. Let me brush my teeth really quick. We gotta get in the car and then I'll explain to you what that conversation was with Jason and then why it's good news. Bye, kiddo. She was waiting here in the car with us. Her, our neighbors are gonna take her. Bye. Just come home like normal, okay? Okay. Okay, love you. Bye. Okay, so we had to just make sure Ashley got to the bus stop. My stupid camera, hang on. All right, she made it to the bus stop. So, okay, lots to unpack this morning. Abby went to the dentist with, um, <laughs> Chelsea's saying goodnight to all of our friends at all the elementary bus stops because Chelsea's with me. Yeah. And we are headed to a pediatrician appointment for her to discuss her allergy, or not her allergies, her asthma. Totally simple, it's just a follow up. I mean, back to Abby. So she went to the dentist this morning with Jason. She's having major tooth pain, tooth pressure, um, to the point where she feels like there's like two sticking out and poking her tongue and it like has caused a huge sore so then she can't eat, she can't swallow. Like I gotta give it to the girl. She just has a crap ton of physical stuff just thrown at her and there's nothing we can do about it. Um, until this pain. Her jaw pain we can't do anything about until she's old enough to get the surgery which is like 18 which is in three years which just sucks. Then her back pain we can't do anything about like I said. So I've always felt bad. So this tooth pain took her in today because I was like, I bet it's her wisdom teeth and we can do something about her wisdom teeth. And she can. Uh, we're gonna have surgery as soon as possible. Obviously, I don't think we're gonna be able to get it done before our trip. Uh, that's too soon. I, it would be, it would have to have been a non-COVID miracle like scheduling kind of a day to get that surgery scheduled before our trip. I don't think that's even possible. I also don't want her to have pain on the trip either. I don't know, all the buses, all the buses, all the buses are going past, but I don't have to stop because I just got ahead of it. There's all the buses. <laughs> anyway, good news from Abby. We will figure out when we can get that scheduled and get her relieved from pain. Um, but now I'm taking Chelsea to her pediatrician. So scheduling wise, Jason's clear in another city with Abby, does not have time to bring her all the way back home because he has to get to work. Store opens in an hour and it takes him 45 minutes to get there. So he's meeting me at the pediatrician's office <laughs> in another area of town to drop Abby off to me so then she'll have to wait with me through Chelsea's appointment Yay. in order to get all of them get, to get taken back to school. <laughs> And then later tonight, it's like more mayhem. I told you today was a busy day. And then she has an activity tonight. Tell them what your activity is. Huh? Oh, we're making nachos. You're making nachos. It's a nacho night. Do you know what I'm making? Cheese sauce, it's in the pantry. So not the one that's already opened in the fridge. Okay. Just take the one that's in the pantry, the smaller one. Yeah. So that'll be a fun activity for her to go to. Um, and then Kaylee doesn't get off work until 10. And so it's like, ah. Oh off to all of our appointments. We're just starting this day in a rush, but it's all good. Good news for Abby, right? Yeah, yeah, we got the referral and stuff. So okay, I'll take that. I have a McDonald's receipt in there so you can get your bonus points. My points? And you want, he wanted a cough drops. Are you gonna stay here in the car, Abby? Yeah. Okay, we get dad his cough drops. That's yeah, that's I know. I didn't notice it until we got in the car and then it was too late. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna head off to work. All right, love you. I know, she wore that yesterday. Except for that little goo right there. You gotta change your clothes, goober. <laughs> okay, good news is Chelsea's not gonna die. I was never going to. I know. To. Doctor just said, nope, she's doing the right things for her asthma, I'm treating it. And we're gonna continue doing 
Yabuterol inhaler as needed and Flovent through allergy season. She's like, let's keep doing that one. So this one is done, Abby is done, and now they're going back to school. Chelsea's like, I was kind of hoping this would take longer so I wouldn't have to go to school. And I'm like, I don't think a pediatrician appointment takes eight hours. Nice try. What the face of a really tired mom looks like. As, dressed. Yeah, I'm in my little house uh, sweatshirt, cozy, yeah. <laughs> it is like you're cozy, isn't it? I took a nap. Intentional. I laid down, put the blanket on, turned the TV off. I only like make it like 10 minutes into Bridgerton before I'm like, I am tired, I'm gonna take a nap. But it's like, I wasn't, I mean, I was tired, but my eyes literally get so heavy, I physically can't keep them open. Like even yeah. sitting up, right Chelsea? You ever felt like that? Sitting in bed, like after a huge long day of like school and stuff, and I'll be like, no, I can't no, keep my eyes open. Yeah. yeah. And I even lay there like totally awake and Kaylee's like, are you okay, mom? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm awake with a blanket over my eyes because I had the light on. Anyway, I have gone back and forth and back and forth. I've been like mom taxi tonight. So I took Kaylee to work and then went back home and waited 10 minutes and went back same direction to take Abby to the high school and <laughs> came home and literally had an hour to wait, not even an hour, maybe a half hour, Chelsea, yeah. until I had to bring her to the church for her activity. And now Abby's done at the high school, so I had to bring her home. Luckily, that's good timing. But then Kaylee's still at work and doesn't have a car, so. and Jason's not done with his dinner yet with a potential, in, uh, he's interviewing someone, even though she's already worked for us. She's just letting us know what her availability is. So I just don't know if he's gonna be done in time right now to come and like help me drop off a car to Kaylee. I'm like, I am not going out again. So I gotta find a mom here at the church to bring Chelsea home. And then I need a mom. Ooh, Michelle, let me ask Michelle. Okay, hang on one sec. Back at home, but tired. Chelsea's gonna get a ride home from another mom, which is very helpful. They just live around the corner. Usually we just can't do rides and stuff because she has four kids, go to those activities. She has triplets which is crazy. And then one other kid that's Chelsea's age. So normally we don't carpool because there's just not enough car seats. But she's gonna bring Chelsea home, but Jason's not done at dinner and he's like 40 minutes away, maybe even further than that. And so I told him, I was like, I'm done. I'm done being the, the chauffeur today. It's up to you to go and get Kaylee tonight at 10 o'clock. Or he could go on a run. I don't think he will, I think he's still sick. Normally he could go down for a run, drop the car off and come running home, but I think you won't do that tonight. I'm just going to light a candle, put pajama pants on, and watch Bridgerton. I, that's what I want to do tonight. I want Turning Red. You want to watch? I thought we watched that last night. It was, it was like an hour long. We didn't get to finish it. Oh, do you want to just finish it? Yeah, it's an hour long. Okay, go turn it on. But I want pajamas on. Uh, pajamas on. I'll get it. I'll turn it on. You, <laughs> Goober. You clean up your mess here. But I'm play. Oh, you're gonna play with it while you do the movie? Okay, Dale, you can do that if you get pajamas on and brush your teeth because you did eat good. I saw what you ate, you did a really good job. So we can maybe catch up with Jason later and see how he's feeling. I don't know if I said anything here. I have a call in to Children's Hospital over in Seattle for Abby's surgery. I'm waiting to see if she can be taken there with her insurance. It's actually really tricky with our insurance to find a good doctor, unfortunately. Uh, just, I don't know, we've had really bad experiences, so I really do some research. Like, her first dentist didn't finish a root canal, and a year and a half went by, and then another dentist was like, this isn't finished, this is dangerous. It was totally infected, totally horrible, had to do like three appointments to fix it. So we're very cautious with her teeth. And when I realized this doctor Sorry, battery died on me. I had to go plug one in. Uh, what was I saying? So when I found this doctor, it's an oral surgeon, I found him at Children's Hospital, I was like, yes! If he's associated with Children's Hospital, he's going to be good. Uh, he's going to be good. So I'm just waiting to see if they have room for her and when I can get her an appointment. Fingers crossed. I'm very excited about that. My other option would be like UW, um, or if you don't know what UW is, University of Washington. We just call it UW. Uh, so that's the status. I wish I knew that we had a date set already, but we don't quite yet. I'm hopeful.